So if you're purchasing houses, do you advise to do 15, 20, or 30 years? Oh, my goodness. Promise the folks that I didn't pay you to ask that question. <laughs> <laughs> Never, ever, 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 ever get anything other than a 30-year loan unless you can get a 40. Oh, wow. Get a 30 ever. or a 40. Never get a what? 15. Why is that? Oh, boy, here you go. I promise you, folks, I'm not paying her to ask these questions. <laughs> so here, on this loan right here, okay? So we can find out if you wanted to know if this was a 15-year loan, okay? And let's say you could afford to pay the 15-year payment on this loan. So you would just change this number to 180, okay? The payment would be instead of $3,078.17, I'm going to make a note here, 30.78.17, okay? The payment would be for a 15-year note, the payment would be 42.42.29, okay? That would be the 15-year payment, 42.42.29. So, Ms. Via, if... I knew going in that on a 30-year note, I could pay $3,078.17. And on a 15-year note, I would be paying $42,42.29. Could I get a 30-year mortgage and still pay $42,42.29? I could still pay the 15-year note payment. Could I do that? Yes. You don't need permission to have a 15-year mortgage. Okay. You can just start paying the 15-year payment if you want to. Would you save more on interest doing it that route? Well, that's a longer story. But the answer is, <laughs> if you have a 30-year loan, and, and it's, it takes some time to show you this, you really will have to um, get a uh, consultation. But once we show you that if you got a 30-year loan and you make the 15-year payment, it is actually slightly better. You're slightly better off than getting the 15-year mortgage. You know, it's how amortization works. It's crazy what amortization does to these loans, but you would really come out better making the 15-year payment. But if that's all you knew, but guess what? If you have the pill method, most of the time, you're just going to make the minimum payment. The program tells you when to pay extra. We don't give you an arbitrary number and say, pay this amount every month. You're only going to pay a certain amount of money in certain months. So at certain times during the year, the program will tell you how much you have stored up in savings and tell you how much of that money in savings that you should apply to whatever mortgage and how much interest you're going to save. The rest of the time, you're just making minimum payments on everything. So this is why we never get a 15-year mortgage, because here's the next question that, that's really going to help you to understand it all. Because banks offer 15-year mortgages, correct? That's correct. And 20-year and 25-year mortgages, correct? Correct. So that we can save money, right? I thought so. Okay. You thought so. Exactly. Now you're coming up with the right answers. Because if you're saving money because of a 15-year note, then who would have to be losing money? Okay. I'm telling you, the bank does not lose money on any of these. You just have to know where they're making money as to why they're offering it. And going into this next year, folks, if you're thinking about getting a mortgage, setting up the mortgage is more than half the battle. Setting it up correctly. What should the interest rate be? What should the term be? How can I avoid paying PMI? Should I avoid paying PMI? What loan should I get? What loan product should I use? See, here's what happens, folks. When we go get a loan, we get all of our information all of our education from the person selling us the loan. That's a good place to get your information on. The best way to handle a loan for you is to get your information from the person that is selling you the loan. The information that you're receiving is not the best information for you. It could be good information, but I guarantee you it is not the best information for you because that's not why they're in business. They're in business to make money. Correct? Correct. So you need somebody that's going to advocate for you to help you to set up your mortgage in the correct way. Now that it's set up in the correct way, now we can go ahead and optimize your interest savings and save even more money because now your mortgage is set up the correct way. So even if you're thinking about getting a mortgage, you want to talk to the pill method. 
so that we can help you to set up your mortgage correctly, getting the right mortgage product. Okay. There is a book right now, and I can't think of the name of the book right now, but anyway, the book is talking about how difficult it is to come up with the, all the right pieces for a particular loan for an individual at a certain instance. So they did a study and had several loan officers in a classroom and it says, okay, here's your situation. What is the best loan situation for this avatar, for this particular person? Do you know they had so many different ideas? It is practically impossible to look at all the variables and come up with the right situation for you, unless someone is plugging all these numbers into a computer so that you can know what is the best thing to do. It is not one thing or two things or three things we have to worry about. If you have five variables to consider, that's 120 different things you can do. And only one of them, one of them is optimum. If you have five different variables to consider. If you have 10 variables to consider, now that's 3.68 million different things you have to consider. Folks, what I'm trying to tell you is we've been told that this thing is a simple process. Come on in, fill out your application, and we'll get you a loan. Oh, no. No, no, no. It is way more complicated than that. So the truth of the matter is it is a lot of work that goes into getting the right loan product. It's even more work to figure out the right amount to pay and when to pay. Our computers do it all and make it easy. All right, Ms. Via, anything else? No, that will be it. Thank you. All right, folks, you know what to do. You can go to ice10k.com, click on that button that says get a savings and earnings report. Not only will we tell you the month, day, and year, you can be debt free. We can even help you to determine which loan product to get for your mortgage. Thank you, Ms. Via. But Don has some valuable information that can contribute to the quality of a person's life. And it only costs you a few dollars. He's, it's his book. Why not get that? Is I'm going to go through the pill method myself with some of my investment properties. So I'm going to link up with uh, uh, Don and then I'm going to sit down with him, show him my investment portfolio and see how I can eliminate interest.